Guys, today is the day Arena Inter-Server Battles are finally here, and today is also the day that I finally realized something that you guys have been trying to get me to understand for several weeks now. Because for the past several weeks, I've been excited for this content. I actually like Arena. I'm one of those people that actually likes Arena. I thought that this was great content. I'm like, you get 50 battles, you get to fight people from different servers. It's going to be fun. It's going to be kind of like this tournament thing that goes on in LEGO Legacy, but I'm not going to mention that anymore. And I was like, why do people not like this? Why are they not interested? And number one, like some people just don't like arena so they're like oh 50 battle i don't want anything to do with this content there's just more chores for me to do right so i get that but another thing that i really i don't know why it didn't dawn on me until now but this is not content for everyone this is content that's blocked off from most of the community because you have to actually rank within the top 10,000 players on any server in arena rankings i mean i'm sure you guys know that by now and this is actually blocked off from many people to actually participate in, from most of the community to actually participate in, which kind of sucks. You have to be, you can't be low level and be like, I want to do inter-server battle. You're like, no, it's not content that you are allowed to do. And that sucks. And I finally get what you guys are saying when you were saying that, which didn't really dawn on me until now, because I'm like, oh, it's not that hard to get C1. It's like... It's not that hard to get C1 if you want to do what you want to do. But some people are just not, like, they're like, I've been playing the game for, like, three months. I would like to do this content, but it's not for me. So, wonderful. So, anyway, also, it's been a lot of people making sure they were pushing for C1, which has been knocking people out as well. So, people have been frustrated with that because they're like, I wanted to do it. I was on the verge of C1. I was, like, 9,000 points or, like, ranked 9,000 or whatever, and they got pushed out. So, uh, yeah, I finally understand what you guys are talking about. But, anyway, we have... I wish it was open for everyone. So I do understand what you guys are saying, but I wish it was open for everyone. But we do have inter-server battles, so let's get it started. Let's take a look at what is going on for the inter-server. Yeah, the server battles. Okay, so we're matching up against Europe server. I'm going to just give my prediction right now. I mean, currently, Europe server is more active because right now, the time that I'm recording this is 5 o'clock in the morning. Not a lot of people from, like, North America, etc., etc. Uh, or North and South America, because South America people play on uh, global. Global server, first off, let me just let me just squash the kibosh on this right now. A lot of people, like, global server is North America server. For whatever reason, they think that. Global server, globe. Everyone can, well, any, anyone can be on any server. But, uh, yeah. I think that Europe is actually, Europe server, even though they're they're already doing more battles than global server, as soon as global server players start waking up, they're going to do their battles too, but I still feel like Europe is going to, Europe is going to take this away because I know that they're very competitive, and I think that some global players are going to like not do all their battles, they're going to forget to do things, they're going to not care, they're going to be like, ah, I just got C2, I didn't really want to do the inter-server battle, I did like five battles, I don't really care after that. Europe server has always, they've always wanted to prove themselves. Since they were the last server to open out of the six servers, if you guys don't know that, they were the last server to open, and it's always been this thing. They're always, like, trying to make sure that they prove themselves as much as possible. So I think that they're actually going to come away with a win on this one. But we'll see. We'll see if I'm correct. We'll see if I'm not correct. It's all really just a matter of, for the most part, just who does their battles. So today we're going to take a look at a lot of these defenses. We're going to see how we would approach some of them. And then we are going to, we're going to hit five of them. We're not going to hit all of them. Just pick five different ones. And then we'll hit them and we'll see uh, like how we would how we would go about countering like the different styles. Like the fast aggressive ones or the bruiser ones. Or I feel like two really strong units here or a really strong combination of units is going to be the Leo and Water Slayer. Leo Water Slayer, Leo Water Bison combination because there's going to be I think a very strong um a very strong defense is fast aggressive but with some kind of sustained healer on it, right? So like some Moth, Clara, Savannah and then an Ariel thrown in there or like a Molly thrown in there, right? So I think something like that is going to be a very strong defense, but you can still use something like a Leo and Water Slayer combination with two other, you know, interchangeable units in there to counter defenses like that. Because it's not about trying to cleave them. It's not trying about, uh, like, Arena Rush where you, like, just want to win as fast as possible. It's about what is going to be the most consistent win. So let's take a look at some of these defenses. What we like, what we don't like. So this is going to be... See, this is going to be... We could just take... We could literally... Should we just hit it now? Should we just hit it now? We should just hit it now. I'm just going to hit it with this shouldn't do that we should just try to use the most consistent thing so uh we could use something like this however the savannah we'll see if the savannah survives oh this doesn't even have that doesn't even have will rune so samas not even gonna come back from the dead oh savannah does survive yeah but the thing with this is like if there was a molly in there 
that would have been really nice for like maybe my Julie wouldn't work. Maybe my Julie wouldn't do enough damage. If there was a Molly in there and they had like shield runes and they were fairly tanky bruisers, then um, then the Julie would not be able to kill things. Ariel or Ariel or Molly or whatever would come in and they would cleanse everything up and it's like, oh, there's my big nuke. And it's done, and I can't I can't do anything now. So uh, let's see. So we're not going to hit all these right. Okay. So this is one that I would want to bruise out. Uh, I don't have. You can actually. Fun fact. You can actually use like. Well, you know, you can also use a Triton against this. So you can use a Triton against this. You can use a Tableau against this. Against uh, Tian Langs in general. Uh, you can use one of the uh, LD Homunculuses. I don't remember which. I th is it the white one? One of the LD Homunculus does something like this but this one i would just bruise out i would use like a water slayer and it just just bruise this out so that's what i would do for there because we really don't have to worry about see this is kind of what i was talking about like the the fast aggressive and then the civet like so fast outspeed strip savannah aoe defense break and then this is kind of here to like well i'm not gonna take the julie into this because then you know the uh we're gonna get kinky right and you know Kinky's just gonna solo, so this is the same. I clicked on the same defense, didn't I? This one we could just outspeed and Lucian. So this is I would just take uh, this. I think some of these defenses I was wonking around, wonking around. I was wonking around with this. This is what I would just. You never know. Some of these, some of these crazy, crazy ones. They have like the twenty-four speed lead, and they're they're going for the trap, and then like the Bernard is like three forty, and you're like, holy crap! The Bern okay. Well, I definitely, I wasn't expecting a 340 Bernard on there, so I, you know, I've seen it. I've seen, like, things that I was like, my, I, I, my Kabila in 33 speed got outsped? That's insane. That's insane. So, uh, yeah. You always gotta be, always gotta be careful of those trap defenses. So, uh, this is another one. This is another one you could bruise out, right? You could take a, you could take a Water Slayer in here. You could bruise this out. You don't have to go in fast and aggressive. I think Water Slayer is going to be the real MVP here. Really. I think I think it's his time to shine. You can take Feng Yan against a lot of the... And I clicked on the same one again. This is another... This... Not to be mean. Personally, I feel this is a terrible defense. Because, again, you can take... Like, Water Slayer is king here. Like, you can auto this defense. There's not really a whole lot of threat. You can take the Wind Demon Water Slayer. Because then you don't have to really worry about uh, this reviving or anything. And you really have... As soon as they're down on HP, these units are crap as soon as they're down on HP. You really don't have to worry about them at all. Um, you can take a Water Slayer. Could, I could probably just reliably auto this team and just come back and not even worry. Because, like, I kind of feel like for this, we shouldn't be autoing things. But, you know, because it's, you know, not just us who have to reap the rewards or, uh, or drawbacks or whatever. It's for our server, but this I would just... I would just auto. If it was if it was not server based and I didn't have to worry about that, I would. So this, I would. I love to use a team like this against this. But you could just double Lucian. Like honestly, you could just double Lucian this. So you can't use. Two oh, you can't use two or more of the same monsters. Oh, you so you can't double Lucian things. Why was I thinking that? No, there's something that says that you can't use the same monster for offense and defense. And my Samoth is on my defense, and I'm like, why can we still use? Because we can still click Samoth. So, this is a bruiser team, by the way. Uh, well, I'm sure you guys figured this out. Uh, but you can use also, like, for example, you can use a... I love them all so much. We wouldn't use a bruiser team against this. That would be completely pointless. This is a bad, bad team to bruiser. But, like, let's say, for example, we're going <laughs> to... Watch, watch we lose. <laughs> watch we lose. <laughs> watch something crazy happens that we lose. Okay, but this is not really something that I'm too worried about. Like, this is, I feel, a freebie. I shouldn't say freebie defense, because as soon as I say freebie defense, things are going to happen, and we're going to get obliterated. So, it's not a freebie defense. It's a v Every defense needs to be taken seriously. Every defense needs to be taken seriously. Every defense needs to be taken seriously. Okay. Don't get too cocky. Don't get too cocky. All right? So that's uh, just, I mean, you could use a lot of stuff against that, though. Where where do we stop? I guess it don't really matter. But again, this one we could use. The Borgnine is going to be, we're well, not Borgnine. Uh, is his name Borgnine? Whose name is, someone's name is Borgnine. Water Slayer, it might be Borgnine. Uh, I just keep calling him Water Slayer. That Water Slayer is going to be super strong against this. Um, and then, you know, uh, like a Veramos. Because Veramos has got the, 
let's see what we can do here. We can do something like, I don't really care about the molly necessarily. We could just take a water slayer. We can auto. Should we just hit this? I feel like we should do, we, we keep talking about the water slayers and stuff. We should just hit this, right? But it's not like it's a team that we're going to, I don't know where these things are, guys. I don't know where these things are anymore. What is his name? Borg9. Okay, I'm not completely. So this is also not skilled up, and I kind of don't even want to skill him up. So this is not going to be a fast battle, but this should be effective. Should be effective. How much heals do we have? We have heals from the Veramos. We have heals from the Panda. Where are your runes? Where? How? Where are your runes, sir? <laughs> sir? Your runes are missing! Where did they go? Um... D where were they? Why did that- why did- why did the fairy king not- Oh my goodness, okay. So, uh, as I was saying... Yeah, look how much HP is destroyed already, so we don't have to worry too much about- I mean... They, they, they didn't put runes on their monsters, so I don't think we really have to worry too much about that. But again, I didn't realize that they didn't have runes on their stuff. So, I mean, they do have runes, but... I'm gonna... I'm, they, they, this year, this upcoming year, be less toxic. Less, less toxic. Alright, that's the goal. Less toxic. Not to watch they Watch they win. Never disrespect defenses, because as soon as you disrespect the defense, they're gonna win. That's what's gonna happen, but I think Borg Nine is gonna be fantastic for uh, for this content, though. I think I think Borg Nine Leo is gonna be super good. So I think we could just uh, we could just take this, and it should be fine. And like these uh, these tanky, and uh, the the Abelio with the new. Why am I why am I like with my hand over here like I'm getting ready to leave? I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go make some lunch. I'll see you guys later. But uh, yeah, I think I think Borg Nine Leo is gonna be a really uh, really nice combination here. And it's going to be effective against a lot like Savannah defenses, right? Um, so like the 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 Savannah, the outspeed. Leo and Borgnine. The outspeed, the Savannah, the, or the AoE defense breaks and stuff like that. I mean, especially Savannah because Leo's got the... Um, Leo's going to nerf the speed. Uh, and then the and then the Borgnine to deal with the, the aerials, the mollies, the whatever. And you just bruise it out. Fangan's going to be great here. I mean, Rika's... Rika's not. Rika can kind of solo things. It's like, like the only damage dealer on the team, kind of. Because she still does do damage there. But look how much HP we destroyed here. We don't even need to... Like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm not even playing the game. But I think that that combination is going to be very strong for, uh, for offense. Because you don't have to do it fast. You just have to make sure that you are effective and you win. But I still kind of feel like your Observer is going to... I feel like your Observer is, is, is ready to go. They're like, this is, this is where we prove ourselves. This is where we prove... I, I, I feel like they are, like, this is what they've been waiting for for a long time, so. So that's, that's just my, uh, my two cents on this. But it's gonna be interesting to see, uh, who winds up doing more ba uh, who, who winds up doing more wings, who winds up, uh, on the top at the end after the several, because it's gonna be, like, two months. That's how long it's gonna take for this. So it's gonna be two months, and then we'll see, and I think, here's another thing that I want to mention. I think that who, whichever servers are like the bottom two servers or the bottom three, they're gonna go into like super try hard mode after that. So whatever servers are on the bottom here, the next inter-server battle, several month cycle, we're gonna see a different situation where they're gonna be like extra try hard to prove themselves. And then they're gonna be towards the top uh, after that. So it's gonna be interesting. But anyway, uh, we did a little stuff. We don't wanna, I don't need this to be a super crazy long video. I just wanted to do some, talk a little bit about it. Uh, my thoughts on it, etc., etc. I'm gonna do all these uh, wings. I'm gonna do all these wings over the. See, this is another one. This is another one. So we could take, let's say, for example, we could take a Leo. Where's Leo? I don't know. Leo's somewhere. Oh God, I don't know. I wish I could type in like what monsters I want. Right. So Leo is gonna counter like the speed. Then we can take something like a. Um, I think the Wind Demon doesn't have runes. I mean, not everyone's got a whole bunch of random Nat Fives, though. So, I apologize for that. Uh, there are other units, like just anything that prevents revives. But really, you don't have to worry too much about it. Just bring some tankiness. We could, okay, like for example, we could do this. But instead of this, we could do a... We could do a Leo, right? That would be, that would be the game plan. 
So then we still have the defense break that we have to worry about. Let's see how this winds up uh, working. Let's see how this winds up happening. Watch we lose. Although I would like, oh, so this is great. They don't even have the uh, will runes on that. So we can push her back to go after everything else. Uh, who's going to, I think maybe we hit the, maybe we, we shield the Leo, but yeah, we push back the Savannah. So we'll do three stuns here. We'll do some of these. We don't have anything to block the revives, which could have been nice, but, uh, or to revive, like Nana could be uh, okay here too. So, but I think this is just gonna be another fairly easy one to just bruise out, right? We could auto this. They have no defense breaks now, so there's nothing really they're gonna do. I shouldn't say, never disrespect defenses. We have no defense breaks, which means it's still a defense that we are concerned about them going crazy and Perna just deleting this Leo with seven turns. Watch, watch, watch. If he got two more turns there, Leo would be dead. <laughs> we would have some issues. And then we would lose. But, uh, I mean, we could have taken like a Borg. Oh, look at the stuns. We could have taken a Borg 9 into this as well. Um, we could have taken anti revive like the water uh, Anubis also. So I kind of like these inter server battles. But I also understand like that a lot of people don't like them because it's not content that everyone. You have to place in the top 10,000 to actually have access to this stuff. So anyway, that's it for this one. I'm just going to finish this, uh, this thing off and then I'm going to go do videos on. Oh, there's another video. Damn it. Wait, I, I didn't get it, but someone else got it that we're hopefully going to play around with this, uh, play around with in a second. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed Arena Intro Short Battles. I like it, but I get where you guys are coming from as well. So anyway, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.